Juan, Juan, why are you here? I'm here today, Steve, because my kid's father called the show, and little does he know, the only reason I came to the show is to serve him an order of protection so he will leave me and my children alone. I've been running from this man for over a year now. He's very abusive. He's very disrespectful. He um, beat and kicked me in my stomach so many times. I had a miscarriage. Every time I got pregnant with one of his kids, I left him. So I would have my baby and not lose it again because of his violence. He has attempted to rape me. He has, um, he's done all this in front of the kids next to everything. He's given me black eyes. I've had bruised ribs and I've just, I'm tired of running. I just want him out of my life. I want to be happy with me and my kids and the man in my life. I want to be happy. What I'm confused about is you just said that he called the show. Yes, sir. Why did he call the show? He wants us back. He, um, he wants me to come back to be with him, and he's not understanding. After nine and a half years of abuse, I met him when I was 17. He was 30, going on 31. Three months after I was with him, I ended up pregnant, and I was scared. I just turned 18, and I've, I've lived a hard life, and he knew the life I've lived, and he made it even harder for me to make it to where I couldn't leave him. Ten years of being with him, and it sounds like the abuse was kind of a regular thing, but what about when I hear that you're pregnant and he's, you have to leave this man so you can ensure the safety of your child being born, how then do you take your baby and go back to this guy? He's the dad. I, I grew up without my father. So I made it a thing for me. <laughs> for my kids to have their dad in their life. Do you ever sit down and say, David, did you ever tell him, you ever put your hands on me again, that's it? I did, and do you want to know his reaction? He had a Smith & Western 38, and he stood in front of me. And he had the barrel in his hand, and he said, B, if you ever leave me, I will, I, I will make it where you can never leave me. And he swung it at my kneecaps. If I wouldn't have dropped my kneecaps, he would have blew this kneecap out. And I'm told that he's tried to rape you. Yes. I was pregnant with my son, and I lost him. Well, when I lost him, he left and went to California. He came back. I had my own place. He came over. He brought the kids over for me to see them on Mother's Day. Well, Mother's Day, I had to work, and by the time I got home, he had did the little dishes and the laundry and whatever, and um, I guess because he did that, he felt that he deserved a reward for that, and it went from that to he grabbed me by the back of my head and kissed me as hard as he could, and I pushed away. I ran into my room, and he busted in my door. He throws me on the bed, and... He starts fondling me, tries to take my pants off, and I get one good kick in, and he gets up and goes to the door and told me to stay there. I guess he had to go or something. When he did, I jumped out my bedroom window and ran to my neighbors and called the police, and he went to jail. Oh, he did go to jail. And you took a lie detector test before the show yes, about the abuse. At some point, we're going to get to those results. What was the thing that you finally said, hey, enough's enough? When my two boys were sitting, my two younger boys were sitting on the couch and he had fought me over my cell phone. He drugged me around the living room floor, kicking me, punching me. And um, it finally got to where after he got done, my, at that time he was one, my one-year-old and my three-year-old came up to me and started doing the same thing. I to you? Yes. Wow. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you to leave the stage. I'm going to talk to David. We're going to get to the lie detector results. I'll bring you back out, all right? You, you actually want to confront him today, oh, yeah. and you got a nice little surprise for him. Oh, yeah. I'm going to ask you to leave the stage right over. Hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm, I'm giving stuff. Hold on. 
order protection. For 30 years, my law partners and I have defended and won some of the most important cases in America. I've been covered in the media in flattering and unflattering ways, so a lot of people think they know me. Here's something they might not know. We have 18 of the best lawyers in America, and I say America because we try cases in virtually every state and we choose our cases on merit alone, so everyone has an opportunity to hire a great law firm. I was just working because I knew I had to work. You want something better? God. I don't even want a chance that somebody's gonna sit out of this thing. Let's bring out David. How you doing, Steve? How you doing, David? All right. I heard that you called the show. And why did you call the show? For the last year, I haven't seen my children. Last time I seen my children, I was at a Greyhound bus station. I came down there to see my kids because I knew they were leaving to go to Arizona. I chased the bus, running along the side, and the kid, my kids was looking out the window. They was crying, and um, it hurt. That hurt to see that happen, and it hurt to see that bus pull on off. And I haven't seen my kids since. And um, <clears throat> now who were they with? They with the mother. They were with Fawn. Were you ever abusive to Fawn? We fight. As far as it's, yeah. were you ever abusive to her? We fight. No, you're not answering the question. No. You never put your hands on Fawn? Yeah, I didn't. I didn't. We didn't fought, but I ain't never just got up and just slapped her or nothing like that out of just anger. Or she done did something, I just get up and arrest her. Never. Only time I put my hands on her is when we fight. Is when she... You say that, that like it's a normal thing. I ain't saying that it's normal, Steve. I'm saying that... But what well, I'm saying, you're in a relationship with this young girl. You're bringing children into the world. What? The, I mean, you seem like a smart guy. You seem like you're articulate, that you can converse. Why the hell would you fight with anybody, especially the mother of your children? Well, you're talking like you're on the street with some dude, and you're going to get into a fist fight. Like, yeah, we fought, you know, and I punched him, and he punched me. Okay. This well, is the mother of your child. What are you doing fighting with, with the, the mother of your that, children? That, that's right. <laughs> she done called the police on me before. I ain't never been in jail for uh, uh, abuse. Why did she call the police? Because she just, uh, she can call the police plenty of times on me. But why? Because she be saying that we in here fighting or whatever. Yeah, I think, you know, women should do that. If the guy that she's with, and you start slapping around, you start cracking her. I don't do that. You know, did you I, fight with her when she was pregnant? I, no. No. No? You never if put your hands on her If pregnant? somebody come up to me and got three plates in their hand, bam, smash my hand, swell up like this, and I don't do nothing, right? And then here come another time, you approach me and we arguing. I may, yeah, true enough, I will get up in your face and be like this, in her nose, and she takes off. She takes off. She may look innocent, she's cute, all that stuff, but don't let it fool you. She doesn't don't, know. Oh, because she's, she's kind of a violent person? Oh, very. Very violent. Very. Very violent. Verbally, verbally abusive. Physical. She, she, physically when abusive. It comes down, if, if, if it comes down to somebody... She beat be, your ass? No, nah, I ain't going to let her. Because you, you're going to give her smack down when she tries, if she right? Try, when she come at... I don't, when I say we be fighting, don't make it seem like we out there. I'm a boxer. Don't make me seem like we out here fighting Well, like you this. tell me how it is. When she approached me and we be arguing... And make, like I said, my first thing is put her hand, because I ain't just to quit and put my hands on her. I put my hand on her nose. When she take off, get off me, man. She went to jail for, um, for um, what you call it, uh, domestic violence. I ain't never been to jail. She, they, the police came out there. You've never been to jail? Not for, not, not for that. What have you been to jail for? I mean, I've been to jail 20 years ago for stuff, man. Nothing was fun? Nothing, never. Oh, she... oh yeah, wait a minute, wait, wait a minute. She charged me with rape before. Oh, <laughs> I could see how you forgot that. She charged me with rape, and you went to jail. Mm -hmm. And you didn't try to rape her? I had the kids. She begged me to bring the kids out, but she lost the kids. She begged me on Mother's Day to hey, bring David, the kids. Let me, let, me, let me ask you something. If she's so bad, <laughs> and she's so horrible, why are you staying with a woman like hey, that? Hey, there you go. She, I, I, ain't, I don't never run back to her. She come back to me. We got copies of the police report from this rape incident. He said... That Fawn tried to attack him, and he had to physically restrain her. He also admitted he did lay on top of Fawn, unbuckle her belt, and unbutton and zip her pants. And this is you giving the statement. 
You're saying that due to earlier conversations with Vaughn, you believe that she got excited when they argued and fought. He said due to that, he believed that she wanted to have sex with him. Doesn't sound like a very sexual encounter. You guys are fighting and, oh, she wants sex? <laughs> Ever fought with her in front of your children? I'm quite sure my kids done heard, but they ain't never been in their face going at it like that. Hey, listen, you're the grown man here. You start dating teenagers, what the hell do you think is going to happen? <laughs> Tomorrow. I'm 24. I've never seen my dad. Last time I saw my son, he was... Let's hey. bring out fun. How you gonna sit there flat out and say you ain't on, never, you, yeah, you, you know ain't what? never hey, put let's, let's your stop. hands you on know me? What? Hey, That's hey, how you gonna hey. sit there and say yeah, you well, never put your fun, hands on fun, me? Fun, fun. That's the thing. It is a point. You you don't want to go up. Same thing. I don't like it when he does it and he says he does it. You can't do it either. I'm not a control. Now talk to him. How you gonna sit there, David, and say you ain't never put your hands on I ain't me? Saying put my How hand you hand. gonna sit there and say you never hit me when I was pregnant with your daughter? Uh, 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 In my uh, house, you were not allowed over there no more. Why? Because David decided to push me into a bathtub. Why I'm pregnant? Did, 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 did we take like that? Here's the thing. I don't know what it proves. I, I, I know. Hey, you made your bed though, <laughs> and you made your bed with her. So I ain't. No, you are, because you have children. <laughs> Results for fun. Did David attempt to rape you? She answered yes. Did it be, but which you admitted in the police report, so we kind of know the answer to that already. That's why I'm saying that abuse from David caused you to have a miscarriage. You deny that big time. She said yes. Has David ever hit you hard enough to knock you out? She answered yes. And Fawn has told the truth. Here, here's what I'm saying is she's pissed off now, okay? She's got her kids. You've been abusive to her. Your actions as a father have not been safe for her, for your children. All this, this bitterness, this anger towards her, all back and forth. Exactly what does that accomplish? Not I'm telling you right now, you keep acting this way, you keep making the decisions you do, you're going to be back on my show and you're going to be crying about something. And you're going to be crying about what happened to your kids. You and I don't want that. I don't want that. I don't want that for you. I don't want that. For my kids, I can't imagine the pain. And that's what you're doing, you know what, David. Steve? Hold on, hold on. I'm, 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 I'm giving something. Hold on. Hey, you know what? Um. Anything you do at this point forward, David, I would hope that you would think, what's best for my children? Not my bitterness towards her. I don't think what's about best her. For my, you do I think do, about I, I, her. I, I do real good. I do real good. Like I said, I want you want to listen to her now. What's this? Here. You have been served with the order of protection. You are not allowed to contact me. You, the only time you are allowed to contact your children is between 6 and 8 o'clock Arizona time. And all the court procedures for um, your visitations and all that has already been started in Arizona. You know what? This is a TV show and we get the stories out. But at this point, she served you with an order of protection. I can't do anything about that. Hey. And I got to abide by the law because I'm a law-abiding citizen. So at this point, I'm going to ask Officer Mike and Jason, order protection, you can't be by her. I have to ask you to leave now. <laughs> you got a chance to say everything you wanted to. You got a chance to get him out of your life. You got an order protection that's going to keep him at bay. And he's got to abide by the rules that that judge set forth in that order of protection. But now it's up to you to say, okay, I want some normalcy in my kid's life. I'm not going to have all this. I said that two years ago, Steve, and it's already there. They've okay. got their apartment. You've served order of protection. Yeah. Be the best mom you can. All right. Don't let this keep continue. Don't let your kids see it. But most of all, you let this guy come in and out of your life for 10 years. I did. Promise me, 
you're going to obey that order of protection oh. and not let him come back to abuse you. Promise on my five children. Okay. Let's go.